Hey, welcome back this morning. We're working through the book of 1 Samuel now, and we're at 1 Samuel 1, verses 8 through 18. So I'm not going to read every verse here, just going to summarize a little bit. So we looked at this yesterday morning. Elkanah has two wives. Uh, that's a problem. But anyway, we've got Penina, who has lots of children. Hannah has none. Hannah's barren. Hannah's very sad. Now they're going up on their annual trip to Shiloh, where the sanctuary of the Lord is present, and they're going to go up there and worship. So we have first verse 8. Hannah, why are you weeping? Am I not better to you than ten sons? Elkanah doesn't really get it. Hannah is still sad, even though he, he goes out of his way to love her. So they go up to the tabernacle, and there's Hannah praying. So we read verse 10. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed to the Lord and wept in anguish. Then she made a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your maidservant and remember me and not forget your maidservant, but will give your maidservant a male child, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life and no razor shall come upon his head. So Hannah is praying. She's praying for this a baby boy. So now look at what's going on here at verse 12. And it happened as she continued praying before the Lord that Eli watched her mouth. Now Hannah spoke in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she was drunk. So Eli said to her, how long will you be drunk? Put your wine away from you. So she explains to him after that, I'm not drunk. I'm just extremely sad. And I've been praying to the Lord for this, for him to intervene. So then we have these two key verses, 17 and 18. Then Eli answered and said, go in peace and the God of Israel grant you your petition which you have asked of him. And she said, let your maidservant find favor in your sight. So the woman went her way and ate, and her face was no longer sad. So she's prayed to the Lord. She's totally trusting in the Lord. She's experiencing in a faith in God. She was, you know, Elkanah didn't do much for her, it seemed like. You know, Elkanah doesn't see the basis of her sorrow. Eli accuses her of being drunk, and she explains that to him. So here's a poor woman. Her, 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 the other wife, Penina, is causing havoc and, and sadness. So she feels very alone. But you know what? She has something you and I also have. She goes to the Lord. And as she goes to the Lord, the Lord gives her just what she needs. She has a, a feeling that God has heard her prayer, and he will answer according to the riches of his mercy. So she leaves it with God, and we learn a lesson from here, too. She goes ahead and she begins to eat. She was holding back. She didn't want to eat all the food. She was just super, so depressed, super depressed. But she's trusting in the Lord now. So she's going to go home now, and we're going to see what happens next. But what can we learn here? When we have an issue, we need to bring it to the Lord. When we bring it to Him, He will hear our prayer. He will, in the riches of His mercy, in the riches of His grace, in the riches of of his wisdom, he will give an answer that's just right for our problem. Here is what Hannah does. She prays to God, she pours out her soul, and then she trusts in him. She is now just going to trust him. She's going to live by faith that God's going to answer in some way that's just right. We need to take our stuff to God, trust him, and let him answer in the way, whatever the way is, that's just right and trust him for that. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Hannah knows how to pray. She knows how to trust. Many times we don't seem to know how to pray or else we are too anxious. We don't spend energy trusting in you. Help us to be also, Lord, people of faith, people who can trust you. You to be our God and us to be your servant. Bless, we pray, as we continue to see what you're going to do in blessing for this family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, may God be our helper today as we continue to go his way. God be with you.